okay so what we have done uh, till now is uh, we have developed the knowledge of what uh, basic NAND gate TTL NAND gate looks like but it has some shortcomings that I am going to tell you here <coughs> so uh, here you can see uh, a capacitor I have made in black uh, that is I am calling it as C0 now this capacitor how it is coming <coughs> C0 is coming from uh, other gates so then let's say this output is driving some other gates other gates are having some transistors transistor are having pn junctions pr and pn junctions have capacitance also okay so that capacitance i am showing it as a load here so what what difference will it make uh, you can see here so we all the circuit we have seen how it is uh, when on any of the input or both the input is zero uh, your output will be mm, what will be the output this will be forward biased right this will be in active region this will be in cutoff cutoff so output will be high and when both the inputs are one this will be in reverse active uh, this will be in saturation saturation output will be low right this is what we have seen so this is figure basic ttl nand okay now what does uh, the shortcoming it is having so i have told you about the capacitor what will happen <coughs> when your output is changing from low to high what what it should happen to capacitor it, the capacitor should charge right H high output means this vcc to this resistance this capacitor to ground you will be having a path so current will start coming from this path to this capacitor and capacitor will charge right and uh, what will happen when the uh, 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 what is expected means when the output is going from low to high your capacitor is charging and it should charge fastly right means the time constant will be rc because this through this r and c the capacitor is charging so time constant let's say i am calling it as r this is your r and c0 now we we want this capacitor to uh, charge as fast as possible then this voltage will be high right voltage across this will be high now the charging will be faster this charging constant will be faster uh, means what I am trying to say is charging will be faster when time constant will be low this is the time constant right time constant low means it takes less time uh, the more the value of uh, the lesser the value of this tau the faster with the charging will be right and to keep this value low you can't change the value of capacitor because it's load it is connected to load load you can't change for a particular load you have to design the circuit accordingly so that's why you can change the resistance value that is this value what uh, how much you should change you should decrease it so that the time constant will decrease and hence the charging will be faster right so once again i am telling you if the output is going from low to high you expect this capacitor to charge as fast as possible so that high voltage will appear here that will lead to high output right <clears throat> and that happens when the time constant will be very less means it is signifying that it is charging fast time constant will be less when the resistance value through which it is charging is less you can't change the load okay load is means like uh, it is you are designing the uh, circuit with respect to load only right so you you want your circuit to adapt accordingly so you can change the value of r specifically you need to decrease the value of r so that tau will decrease and the charging will be faster so that the output voltage will get high right so this is one statement you want this guy to be uh, uh, very less value uh, for uh, output going from going from low to high okay second thing i am telling you when you make this resistor value very low what will happen a large current will flow through when 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 this guy will be in saturation let's say it is coming from high to low means this guy will go into saturation output is getting high to low going from high to low and this uh, that means this transistor is going in saturation what will happen if you keep this resistance value very very less a large current will flow from this vcc to this ground right uh, that is not good because the larger the current here collector current 
द लार्जर बेस करेंट यू नीड टू ड्राइव दिस ट्रांजिस्टर इन सैचुरेशन दैट इज नॉट गुड ओके सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर 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 दिस ट्रांजिस्टर टू गो इन टू सैचुरेशन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड मोर बेस करेंट सो दैट द करेक्टर करेंट विल बी मोर मीन्स द ऑन टाइम विल गेट इंक्रीज ऑफ दिस ट्रांजिस्टर दैट इज नॉट गुड सो यू वॉन्ट दिस रजिस्टर टू बी हाई सो दैट so that q3 will go in saturation fast means on time should be fast right so you are having completely opposite requirement this is when let's say your output is going high to low right output is going high to low means this guy is going to saturation and you have kept according to this condition you have kept resistance value very r means high current will flow and you need high base current to drive this uh, q3 transistor into saturation and that will increase the on time which is not good we want the switching should happen fast so that's why it, the resistance value should be high now you have two different requirements the resistance value here you want low the same resistance value here you want high now how you can achieve both of this both of this we want in our circuit so how you can achieve this it has single value it's a passive element you want for one operation you want its value to be less and for another operation you want its value to be high so how you can solve it so you need you don't need a passive element you need an active element which can respond according to the situation active element so that it will it will behave as a high a uh, high impedance uh, uh, component for this operation uh, sorry uh, low impedance uh, uh, so it should behave as low uh, low impedance or low resistance component for this operation and for this operation it should behave as high resistance or high impedance uh, component okay so uh, according to these two situation it should change its resistance okay so that's where totem pole comes into picture totem pole output okay that's a variation of ttl this is a basic ttl nand gate there is something called totem pole output ttl nand gate where we will remove this part and we will put something else transistor and diode combination of both and that will solve this problem and that we will call that circuit we will call it as totem pole output because it will be having a uh, 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 totem pole means like we'll be sitting on something like in sitting on pole like this okay so that's why you call it totem pole type and uh, one more thing this guy is called as active uh, means like pull down component pull down because it is pulling down the output to zero and this guy this resistance is called as pull up pull up resistor because it is pulling up the output okay to towards high because of this only it is going to high right and because of this it goes to low so pull uh, pull down component pull up component pull up resistor okay so these terms you should be knowing now i'm going to tell you totem pole output uh, ttl type that's that's a variation or that's a type of ttl you can think of okay and that will remove this problem so again i'm telling you uh, um, we want low resistance for the charging of capacitance to be fast in the case output is how high and we want high resistance uh, so that the saturation time will be uh, less for q3 okay in case the output is low so that is the requirement now we will be filling filling it with the help of totem pole 